the old streets of Fez's Medina. We've barely made it in the gate and the first stop is Moroccan pancakes. More pancakes. This is a oh, Herman. <laughs> You're putting us to shame. Yeah. That is how it's done. <laughs> Moroccan. Cheers. We have got cheers. I'm mesmerized. I actually am. Good afternoon from the old streets of Fez's Medina here in Morocco. Today we are doing what we love to do in most major cities across the world and that is indulge in street food. We're actually doing a street food tour with Fez food tours and we are meeting our guide Fatima at the blue gate of the old Medina I wouldn't even know where to go there's over 9,000 alleyways so I'll be completely lost trying to find the best street food but I'm pretty sure they are gonna know where we need to go and try some amazing Moroccan food we've been to a lot of restaurants um, the Moroccan cuisine is a mix of Arab Mediterranean Berber um, but the street food I have no idea Nice to, nice to meet you. Hey. Yeah. Hey. hey, nice to meet you. Good? Really good, excited. Yeah, we're very excited. Today we're going for a food tour, okay? Uh, it's going to be uh, like uh, a mix in between history, culture, traditions, and food. We have met our guide, Fatima, and she has given us all of the facts before we even get in and try the amazing food, which I'm so excited for. This, as Matt said, is the Blue Gate. Um, it was renovated by the French in 1913. Blue is the dark blue is the colour for Fez and there is 14 gates? Was 14 it 14? Gates, three or four different sections and we're going to be in Fazil Bali. We're going to get lost. Let's do it. We've barely made it in the gate and the first stop is Moroccan pancakes. They can actually be had for sweet or savoury breakfast, snacks and we're going we're gonna to try all of them. I don't even know how many there are. We have so much going on here. We have so much going on. I don't even think I'm going to be able to remember it. So I'm going to just go for the first one, which is Malawi. So pancake and it's got honey and butter inside. It's all going on in here. You've got the blenders, you've got the fruit juice, we've got orange juice and banana and milk. This is real food. This is real food. Hearty goodness. And I'm sweating, but I'm here for it. just sweet pastry and now I'm shouting. <laughs> it's a sweet pastry, it's kind of salty from the butter and the salt, um, it's warm and it was made lovingly by the lady behind me. I'm gonna try this, this is a harsha. so it's basically sort of like a cornbread or like a couscous and then you have a cheese inside, I love this place. We've got one being made behind me by the lady, very lovingly, um, it looks amazing, stuffed with cheese, yeah, it's also it's almost similar to like a maize or a cornbread, yeah. something like that. It smells amazing, by the way. I love seeing her make it. Though. Mm, yeah, it's like a cornbread. Mm, still with cheese. It's just hearty goodness. Cheers. Cheers. I have the fresh, the freshest orange juice. They've literally just made it right there. Hence the noise. Matt has banana and milk. It's just so needed in this heat. Before we continue with the amazing food tour in Fez, we just want to give you some inspiration on your upcoming travels. We have been using Skyscanner to help us get around for the last couple of years, specifically on city breaks when we're looking for the cheapest flights, and often they can be on some underrated destinations. For example, we have just had a look on Skyscanner and put a completely random date in. We clicked the Explore Everywhere button and we found some super unique destinations for an amazing price for example you can fly to Slovakia for nine pounds which is 100% an underrated destination there's some amazing scenery and you can head to the capital of Bratislava which is a great city break you can also fly to Romania for £10, which is another underrated destination. You can check out the capital of Bucharest and there's some other great cities such as Cluj and obviously everyone's heard of Transylvania. We can guarantee you might not have thought about traveling to these two places for a specific city break. You can also use the Skyscanner traffic light system. You may have heard me talk about this before, but it really is the best way to find the cheapest deals on your flights. You literally just choose the whole month 
and on those days you'll see some are green, orange and red. Avoid the red and stick to the green because they'll often be where the flights are the cheapest. We hope that we have shown you that you can use Skyscanner to find an underrated destination at a cheaper price. Let's get back to the food in Fez. More pancakes. This is a Herman. I'm close. My pronunciation will definitely get there. This is basically a pancake and it has been filled, stuffed with cheese, cow's cheese and honey. And then it comes into these little like triangles. So it's almost like a little mini pizza stuffed with honey, cheese and all sorts of goodness. Everything's goodness. Oh, that's good. And you have this for breakfast. That'd be the best breakfast. It's sweet. But then it's got that cheese kick coming through. Perfect. Wow, I mean, there's just a hell of a lot of pancakes here in Morocco. This is Malawi Bilbasa. And this is the savory version of the one we just tried. It's like onions, paprika, and fat. And this one is very, very warm. Again, cut into these like little slices. Um, I'm ready. Pork. Oh yeah, that is more like a pizza. The onions, it kind of tastes like a tomato base. I'm assuming that's just like the paprika. Um, the perfect savory snack. From pancakes to beef jerky. So the beef here is actually dried on the rooftops above and you can see all the jars filled with different things to keep it nice and fresh, nice and sweet. Um, this is fatty. It is fatty for me. I'm gonna try a little bit because, you know, I'm easing my way in. You're not sure if you're gonna like it. <laughs> I can't tell, it's soft. I was expecting beef jerky. Beef jerky at home is like crunchy. This is sort of like soft. It's more like a pulled pork type texture. I'm not sure if I'm keen on the smell. Mm, yeah. Yeah, pulled pork. And it has like a really strong, cheesy taste. I think that might be like the fat. Um, pancakes. <laughs> You're putting us to shame. Yeah. That is how it's done. <laughs> Moroccan. <laughs> Do you need this? I needed that for that uh, beef jerky. Just a natural toothpick. What is it called? Uh, Pshnecha. Look at that. Just grown upside down toothpick. Literally. Grab the bottom. and get rid of that <laughs> little bit of pancake. We're now going down one of the 9,000 alleys. We wouldn't have a clue where we're going if it wasn't for Fatima. We really do need a local to show us these best spots because we've literally only walked down two or three alleyways and there's no way I'd find my way out already. Our teeth are clean. We're gonna make them dirty again. I've got a sponge because a Moroccan donut looks unbelievable. And I also have churros. Everyone should know what they are, but let's go Moroccan donut. They look so good. He's just making them one after another. After have I got another. sugar around my mouth? Just oily goodness. Have I got sugar around my mouth? Huge that is like big. the best thing ever. Hot, oily, sugary donuts. And uh, let's try a mini churro. Thank you. Cheers. We have got cheers. We have an almond and ice cream milkshake, and Molly has a raisin and ice cream milkshake. I'm not sure if the best way to eat it is whether you use a spoon. I'm just, I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna drink it. Mm. Is it healthy? It's not. It's more, uh, it's fragrant, it's very sweet. And I try and get a bit of ice cream as well. I don't know if I use a spoon or not. Oh, that's good. <laughs> it's really good. I didn't think an almond milkshake would be that. Yours doesn't look the most appetizing. Though. Matt's definitely looks nicer, but I'm all for giving things a go. So this is like a raisin milkshake, which sounds so strange. Trying not to spill it all down my yellow dress. That is really nice. Surprisingly refreshing. Doesn't taste like raisins. It's like fruity, ice cold from the ice cream. It's really sweet. Um, Something I've noticed is that in Morocco they seem to love sweet and sugary things. Um, and this I'm gonna try, but Fatima has to explain it to me because I can't remember. <laughs> okay, this is kebab. 
Jerusalem. It's quite popular for our weddings, okay? And it's normally almond dough with orange blossom, cinnamon, and sugar. Okay, so and the sweet dough from, again. Yeah, and filo dough from the outside, then we bake it with yeah. some egg on the top. Okay, so sweet again. Um, it does look good though. And it's not a gazelle. No, I was confused. It's like dessert after dessert. This is nougat, so it's basically almonds with the eggs mixed together, and it's really good for when you're traveling. It's basically like a chewy Snickers type treat, and I think the wasps absolutely love it. I've never seen so many wasps. I don't know how the guy cuts it without getting stung. Mm. It's really similar to a Snickers. It does taste like it, doesn't it? It's like a chewy, white Snickers. Mm -hmm. chewy, nutty goodness. Wow, where are we going? It's in the argan oil. Wow, okay. Here we go. That's Nutella Morocco. Oh my god. Right that on. is crazy. Yes. It is so natural. So we have come down. It's natural, this. It is so natural, yes. isn't it? Wow, we have come down into a like beautiful underground house, I suppose you could say. And this is Moroccan natural, it's like spices. And as you just saw, I just tried the Moroccan Nutella, which is um so nutty, like more nutty than normal Nutella. It doesn't quite have the sweetness because it has no sugar, but it is much healthier. And uh, I feel good now. Isn't it crazy that this is that? 10 different herbs and spices, so. The berba tea. And no sugar. And no sugar, but it's so sweet. Oh my God, look, so all of this oh, is good? in this. It's so good. It's like unbelievably sweet. Are you feeling healthy? I'm feeling so healthy right now. Natural mm. Vicks. Okay, one, two, three, Big. sniffer. Okay. Be careful, okay? Just easy, okay? Easy one. Here you go, one, two, three. Oh, Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, oh. yeah. It wakes you up. I know. Best thing for a hangover, really apparently. Fresh, yes. Wow. Here we go. One, two, three. Perfect. Whew. I'm like a new man. Now, okay, so that's true. I can I smell see. everything. I can smell things that I never thought I could smell before. Molly, <laughs> you need to wash. Nice. That smells so nice. Yeah. He's literally the herb doctor. Yeah, I know. Herb what is going on doctor. now? Yeah. No. Put one drops for the essence orange blossoms. Eunice is literally a spice doctor and this is his family home and it's been in the family for like 280 years which is absolutely incredible um my nose is uh fresh matt's nose is fresh we can smell I can everything smell you. i need more food thank you so much shukran shukran thank you so much oh, thank you so much you said thank you, you. last stop is dinner and look at this the food is here. We have come into Zocha restaurant um, and I am having the dish of Fez, which is a pastilla, right? Yes. I'm there. And your this French is, is getting um, good or your accent? <laughs> my accents are just so bad right now. Uh, and it is basically a pie. This one is filled with chicken, almonds and- Onions. Onions, onions saffron. Everything, it's filled with everything. <laughs> right? was having to like tell me, cause I just, by this point, there's just been so much food that I can barely remember. But as you can see, it looks lovely, pure hearty dish. Um, and I'm ready. It's topped with cinnamon, so it actually smells really, really sweet as well, which is kind of unusual, but I'm here. And I'm ready. How is it? It's different, you know, because I'm not used to having like sweet chicken, but um... Is it a bit like a sweet and sour chicken? Yeah, in the pie? it's a mix. Yeah. It's, a mix. Um, it's so soft. The It's like curried chicken is what it tastes like. It's really, really soft, tender, crisp on the outside, sweet on the outside. Um, and yeah, it's just really really nice and i have the kafta tagine so it it's basically so a meatball tagine with an egg it looks amazing and if you don't know what tagine is it's what the dish is cooked in which is the clay pot so I show us how to make the moroccan oh no oh no <laughs> so i need to dip first yeah. okay i've got some bread i know i'm gonna do this really wrong and i'm gonna, I'm gonna we have a I'm judge so down. no i know I'm i not, have a choice no. oh, no. i'm not good at it i need to get a little bit of the egg a little okay. bit of the sauce, a little bit of the meatball. Has he done well? No, no. no. I've done really, <laughs> totally I've done really badly. But let's let's give this a try. 
Mm. What's, it, what's the closest thing it tastes like? It's similar to a shakshuka. That we haven't, that mm -hmm. we would know oh, as a shakshuka. Yeah. yeah, the yeah. tomato sauce, the egg. But the beef is almost peppered. It tastes like a peppered... You know what it actually tastes like? It tastes a little bit like the chicken seasoning in KFC. No that's way. That, oh, what, black peppered? That, yeah, like a peppered... Mm, it's really good. I'm mesmerised. I actually am. This is like a little hole in the wall. We would have never known it was here. A little family run restaurant. Probably their, is it their family home? Yeah. It's got family oh, home it's as well. Right. And home. really? Yeah. That's so cool. And this is now by far my favourite dish in all That's big statement. of Morocco so far. Their meatballs are just... You've got to come and try these meatballs. Thank you so much. Have fun. Thank you. You're welcome. Eight hours to Marrakesh. Let's do this.